Hey guys, Double 25 and Archer 9234. Episode 109 major review. Today we have the Power Rangers Mystic Force, the Magic Staff, aka the Magi Stick from Mahou Sentai Magi Rangers. So now we have the Magi Stick, which is the main primary weapon for all five of the Magi Rangers. This is mainly much the basic stick that they would take out from their little holder. Now in Mystic Force slash Magi Rangers, they, all five of them can use this specific mode. Regardless which one it is, they all had the same one. All they did was that the symbol for the color was different. So you have blue. Pink, green, yellow, and red. To turn on the sounds, you have to lower this first. And here's a on and off switch. And that's all it does in this mode. Unfortunately, they didn't actually make it so that the lighting inside the emblem was the same color as the ranger. It's just simply red. So to unscrew it, all you gotta do is just take it apart. Twist and take twist it off. It. And you can now when you change. put pink on, same thing. You can also accidentally put them in backwards. There's real no specific way you can do it. So now we have sword mode. It only um, has one specific sound effect. Which is just a slashing sound. The sad part is that the handle is actually pretty short on a dog collector because you guys can see when I'm holding it like this, it's not really like really centered really well for my hand. There should be a bit more space like right up to maybe here so you can have some more grip when you do a double when you do a double sword. And of course the blade is way too small. The blade is really really small which is kind of sad. But overall this is how you would, you would do sword mode. Now this is axe mode. This is where it greens. Now the only complaint I have with this one is that now it's just weird because this is shorter now instead of being wider. And yeah, unfortunately it doesn't match what the show does where the axe actually gets bigger. So it yeah, the axe would be a bit longer and you know, when you hold it two hands, it'll be, this is actually how you would have for two hands, but th this the is axe now part short. Is a bit too small. And we have bowgun mode. Now sadly, this is actually no handle. This is at the the symbol is the handle, which is kind of which sad. you couldn't actually tell on the show, so people might get confused. Like, how does he actually hold it? Like because that? because in the show, they actually show, you can see it as like something around here, or he's holding it with a little with a little peg down here, so you can't really see it. But this is actually how it is in the toy. Sadly, it doesn't really look well because you can actually break it because it's, it's only a screw. When you hold it like this, you put too much pressure on just the front because of how heavy it is in the back. There's no support. Again, just like the other ones, it only has one sound effect. Sadly, there is no like, oh, no like charge sound or nothing. And in the show, when you see them do the bogan mode, the bogan is actually longer. Now inside, you have a holder for the for the stick. What you do is just you put you have it and you just slide it down. In this default position. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with the belt like in previous Super Sentai series sets. It just comes with the holster for that and also the belt buckle of the uh, Magi Ranger's actual emblem. Now, the sad part is that, what I don't like about this is that there is no lock to hold those Magic Staffs, so when you like wiggle it around, you it actually can also spin it. around, so. Because you don't have any lock, like certain Sentai holders, they actually have it a specific way so that when you push it in, it will stay locked and it won't move when you move. Alteration wise from the Magic Staff to the American version. Now ours was actually a bit bigger, slightly big bigger. We changed the color with a with on the outer part of the M instead of a little tinted bluish kind of thing. It was a gray color. And also 
we had we took a different way of taking out the emblem instead of just turning them. Ours would just pop it up, pop it in, pop it up, pop it in. Sadly, we only included three of the features. Red, yellow, and green. Blue and pink were not really included. We just, they were usually because they're girls, they're always getting girls, ignored. Yeah. They took out the chrome on the top, and, top bottom. Bottom and the bottom right here. This is actually a sticker, not really chrome at all. But they replaced it too as a regular gray paint. Yeah. The battery compartment was shockingly the same. It was a screw, which is really odd because most because of the time Japan always has the pop out pop thing. Out thing. But sometimes Japan and America are inconsistent how they do the uh, battery compartment cover. Sometimes they do the button one, sometimes they do the screw one. This is random. Also, the sound effects were actually changed. Instead of keeping more than three sound effects, America only had two sound effects, which is when you slide down the staff. And, and when you do it in much staff that, mode. Yeah, that's about it. All the other sound effects, the power-up sound effect, the sound effect for bow gun, the sound effect for axe mode, and the sword sound effect are all missing. The US version added paint to the emblem top, making it more show accurate. The belt holster was changed to gray and shortened. The extra detailing under the M logo was removed. And finally, the belt buckle was not included. <laughs> Overall, I would say both are good, shockingly, but if you want the girls, get the Japanese one, but if you don't really mind about the girl emblems, then by far get the Banda Asia or the American one. They both are almost the same thing, just that you lack the sound effects and the two emblems. But other than that, you have a bigger piece compared to a smaller piece, so it all depends on what you guys feel like. Personally, I like the Japanese one because you get all five emblems in it, because the girls are always ignored in the American versions anyway for some odd reason. But yeah, that's it for our review of the Mystic Staff. Join us next week for the Power Rangers Turbo, the Turbo Morpher, and the Synergizer. Read, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next week. Now, unfortunately, in both U.S. and America, one they actually U.S. and America. <laughs> <laughs> you just said U.S. and America. That's a blooper, guys. See, U.S. and America. Unfortunately, though, in U.S. and Japan, they actually did not include the Snowflake for Majin Mother slash Udana. <laughs>